In this module, we shall understand what a population pyramid is. The population pyramid reveals the story of a country and also predicts where the country is headed. Russia, with the largest territory in the world, has roughly the same total population as Nigeria, a country one sixteenth its size. But this similarity won't last long. One of them's population is rapidly growing, while the other is slowly declining. What can this tell us about the two countries? Population statistics are some of the most important data that social scientists and policy experts have to work with. But understanding a country's situation and making accurate predictions requires knowing not just the total size of the population, but its internal characteristics such as age and gender distribution as well. So how can we keep track of all that data in a way that makes it easy to comprehend? Complex data is more easily interpreted through visualization. And one of the ways that demographers represent the internal distribution of a population is the population pyramid, also called as the age-sex pyramid. Here, the total population is divided into various age groups. For example, 0 to 4 years, 5 to 9 years, and continuing up to 100 and up. The data is also divided into males and females. The male population is represented on the left hand side and the female population is represented on the right hand side. Often there is a symmetry between the males and the females. The shape of the population pyramid gradually evolves over time based on fertility, mortality and internal migration trends. Thus, the shape of the population pyramid tells us the story of the people living in that particular country. The number of children below 15 years are shown at the base and that reflects the level of birth. The working age population lies in the center. The number of aged people are shown at the top and reflects the number of deaths. Thus, the population pyramid also reveals the number of dependents and the working population in a country. The countries with younger population need to invest more in schools, while countries with older population need to invest more in the health sector. The age structure can also be used to predict potential political issues. For example, the rapid growth of a young adult population unable to find employment can lead to unrest. Here you will see four population pyramids of Kenya, India, Japan and USA. Let's begin with the population pyramid of Kenya. Kenya's population pyramid has a very wide base. This indicates a very high birth rate. The population pyramid rapidly narrows towards the top. This is understood by the bar lines getting rapidly shorter. The size of the top is very narrow. This means you will find fewer people living in the older age groups and this signifies low life expectancy for the senior population. In Kenya, life expectancy is only about 62 years. So though many children are born, a large part of them die in their infancy. Relatively few become adults and there are very few old people. Kenya is an underdeveloped country. Population Pyramid of India Unlike Kenya, which has a very wide population pyramid base, India's population pyramid has a wide base. This indicates a high birth rate, though not as high as Kenya. Death rates, especially among the very young, are decreasing. So, the pyramid is broad in the younger age groups because more infants survive to adulthood. Relatively larger number of young people are found in India which means strong and expanding labor force. The 
population pyramid gradually narrows towards the top. Fewer people are living in the old age group, which signifies low life expectancy for the senior population. Average life expectancy in India is 69 years. When we consider the older people in the population, the females are living longer than the males. This is an asymmetrical feature seen in the older age group. India is a developing country. Population Pyramid of USA As compared to India, USA's population pyramid has a narrow base. This indicates a low birth rate. The bar lines have remained stable as it moves upwards towards the top. The size of the top is broad. This means you will find more people living in the older age group. And this signifies a high life expectancy for the senior population. The average life expectancy in USA is 79 years. USA is a developed country. An exception to the US is Japan. Japan's population pyramid has a very narrow base. This indicates a very low birth rate. The population pyramid broadens as it goes towards the top, as more people are living longer. The size of the top is broader. This means more number of people are reaching very old age. The average life expectancy of a Japanese is about 88 years, one of the highest in the world. Japan is a developed country, but it shows a shrinking and aged population. As you can see, the population pyramid tells us far more of a country than a set of numbers by showing where a country has been and where it is headed within a single image. And in today's increasingly connected world, facing issues such as food shortages, ecological threats and economic disparities, it is increasingly important for all scientists and policymakers to have a rich and complex understanding of the populations and the factors affecting them. Thank you so much.